Hello to my Saggies. You guys are ruled by Jupiter. You guys are the archers. To my beautiful, casual, friendly, honest, loyal Saggies. I want to give a shout out to my cousin Morales Mara. I love you, Morales. Anywho, let's see. This is going to be a general reading for the month of January for 2022. Uh, again, if it resonates, let me know in the comments below. You don't have to. The reason why I want you to uh, comment, it's only because of the fact that if it resonates, I want to be able to attune to your energy. In turn, I can provide more insight for you. And I think that that's wonderful. That's why I'm here. I was able to build a wonderful channel with my guides, with my ancestors, with my loved ones, with collective consciousness, something that we can all do. Again, we're already connected to Source, and I've been reading about Dolores Cannon, and she is my new mentor. Anyway, uh, I'll put this information down in the description below, so if you guys want to look into it, you can. And maybe, hey, maybe we can talk about it. We can go go into a discussion. <laughs> I don't know. I saw this uh, devil card, and I think of uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. I think of perhaps being addicted to something. You know, I also think of vitality. I think of something being oppressed, not speaking up about something, Saggy. I don't know. Um, this is a major arcana. Major arcana, they represent something significant, something uh, major, right? So, yeah, that's what I'm getting for that. Um, and let's see. Perhaps you're dealing with a cat, a Taurus, or Virgo. Maybe it has to do with work. And that is a, a Earth uh, sign. So that card revolves around that element, meaning those three signs, heavy. So maybe you're, this has to do in regards to something with work and you just got to speak up. Child, speak up. Don't keep those, peeling, those feelings oppressed. Maybe you have some kind of addictive, addictive behaviors. I don't know. And that, and when I say addictive behaviors, it doesn't have to necessarily mean anything negative. It could mean a, an addictive behavior where you're can you have a conditioned thinking pattern. You know, you're conditioned to believe this and this and that, and you already have your faith based belief. You know, you have that belief. You're already centered, and yet you're not because of this physical this something in regards to work this level of consciousness something that's keeping you something that's not keeping you grounded sag and again let me know in the comments below let me know if this resonates at all so i can provide more insight so we got the ten of pentacles sorry we got the five yeah ten of pentacles and ten of pentacles to me this is again an earth sign uh, Ten of Pentacles, they represent um, an end of, of, so tens, they represent something like you fulfilled, right? You fulfilled something in regards to physical, anything external. You fulfilled something in regards to creativity or work or wealth. Can we please clarify the Ten of Pentacles spirit? I need to clarify. I would like to clarify that card. So we got three cards to clarify that. And let's see. We got the Wheel of Fortune, Fortune, which that means change. There's some kind of change, perhaps with karma. Perhaps there's some kind of change in a pattern. And I did bring that up earlier, Saji. I did, I did bring up the fact that there's some kind of addictive uh, change or addictive pattern that you guys are facing right now. And it could be in regards to conditioning thinking. Perhaps you have this faith, belief and someone's trying to interfere with that belief and it's and it could be an earth sign right or maybe it has to be in regards to karma i don't know in regards to 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 your fortune um or change and then we also got the king of wands and we got the six sorry the seven of cups so when I see the seven of cups, I think of opportunities. I think of, and I see I see the grace uh, cloud. I think of uh, things that come and go, right? And this card represents emotions. It represents cups. It represents water. It represents Pisces, Aries, Scorpio. That is uh, the energy surrounding this card, Sag. 
So perhaps you have all these opportunities that came and go and you just never took action on them. And then that's what you, and the king is here. The king of, of, of wands is, is actually uh, your energy. Sag, it's a fire sign. It's all about intuition. And kings are all about mastery. They're all about experience and understanding. They're all about being assertive. And this is a court card. And this is, you know, they're all, they're super practical. They're super materialistic. And, and, and that, and, the, and this card is, is actually an earth card, meaning uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but it's also in your energy as well. Um, so Sagittarius, let me know if this makes any sense to you. I also see yellow in regards to wisdom. I see green. I also see my ring and green signifies to me love and health. So maybe there's some, and there's another, his shoes are green too. So maybe there's something in that regards. And I see this tiny little lizard down here. And I just think of, of it being like, um, like some kind of like, like, uh, like, a like a, like a friend, like a companion or something. I mean, you have a companion with you or something in that regards. We can clarify that in a second. All right, Spirit, can I just throw my back there? Please clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. Please. all right yeah i didn't i mention um green earlier how cool is that i love spirit when they do this to me to you as well so heart chakra heart chakra is all about the i am loving it's all about love it's all about compassion it's all about the belonging it's all about you know um just being true to yourself Perhaps um, the, the, the gem that corresponds to this, perhaps you should wear some green adventuring or maybe some some green onyx. Green onyx is really nice. It's actually what I'm wearing on this finger. Um, it's so cool how I just said green and it's asking you to work on your heart chakra, to work on that loving and that compassion of yours. And I see the number four and I think of stability. I think of structure. Perhaps you guys are trying to put something into structure. Uh, emotional withdrawal I saw this one and I'm gonna read it to you because I, I just I need to I, I, I'm sensing that I should and in this deck this card these cards represents relationships of the heart they so this is a cups energy again this is cancer Pisces Scorpio perhaps you have a connection or a relationship with some kind of energy and with that energy and we're, and this has to do with love joy and feelings so perhaps you're can you're having some kind of emotional withdrawal in in in, in a love relationship and or maybe an eights are all about actions and accomplishment so perhaps you need to take action in that relationship and that feeling and whatever makes you happy right And you know what? I'm going. I don't need that card, and I don't need that deck or this deck. I'm actually going to grab my oracle cards because these cards give you a beautiful insight. They give you a nice perspective. They provide insight. They give you a perspective, and they're a great divination tool, 100%. So. Ask Spirit if there's a loved one that you may want to talk to, you've been thinking about, want some evidence, want some, uh, want to know that they're with you. Just ask right now and let's see. Spirit, loved one, if you can please back up Sagittarius and give them some messages of hope. Give them some insight. Give them some love. Let them know that you are always with them. Maybe your ancestors have something to tell you. abundance your loved ones are saying to expect abundance in any shape way or form and i would leave that to you uh i always speak about projecting uh thoughts and words words being so powerful words sending off a vibration and how there's vibration everywhere there's electric magnetic fields all over us just we can't see it so imagine you thinking of such a strong vibration such a strong word energy and you're just transmitting that energy off to another vibration which connects which matches that vibration that frequency and that's what i'm trying to say if you want to manifest abundance if you want to manifest positive speak positive so you can uh, receive that abundance because again abundance can come in many abundances <laughs> you can receive 
apples in abundances, you know? You can. That's just my analogy. I guess it's not a really good analogy, but anyway. I want to grab one more card for my beautiful Saggies. Courage. Have the courage to take action. Have the courage to follow your heart. Have the courage to, to, to believe in your faith and have the courage to know that you are a co-creator and you have the ability to put to, to manifest anything you desire because we are all co-creators. What a swell reading. All right, well, um, if this resonates with you, let me know. If it doesn't, then that's all right with me. I don't care. Hey. The whole purpose of this is to co-create. The purpose of this is to bring in healing, is to help anyone, is to provide insight, to provide love, and to let you guys and remind you guys that you are not alone. Okay, and I just saw 11-11, baby. Woo! New beginnings, new opportunity. Coming your way, Saggy. Love ya. See ya.